Homeroom was smooth, brings it down to Miami. Let's get it. So it's just laid in the book. Beauty. <laughs> hey y'all, this home was smooth. Uh like, comment, and subscribe. <clears throat> so I just got back from watching the movie. So this is a fresh, like super fresh review. Uh man, like what do I say? Like, it was really good, man. It was really, really good. Um uh first of all. Stop watching their spoilers, okay? Spoiler warning, okay? If you don't want to be spoiled, click off this video, all right? Because I ain't sparing nothing. All right, so anyway, uh, okay, so one, um, love the Joker scene at the end with him and the Riddler and the Arkham, uh, you know, and yeah, I, I love that. I love that. Um, the school, let's, let's, you know what I'm saying? Like the, the, the setting. The ambiance, the score, the score really captured Gotham. Like, and I feel like this movie really captured like Gotham and like how bad it is, like how corrupt it really is. Like Gotham is terrible. It's a terrible city to live. I would leave immediately, expeditiously buy me a one way ticket and I ain't ever coming back. Um, so I want to get into, so, so, uh, yeah, 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 so, so Bruce Wayne is played by the guy from Twilight. Um, I, that's what I'm just going to call him. Uh, he has a name, um, but he's, he's guy from Twilight. Okay. He's got from Twilight. Um, <laughs> but listen, I mean that no disrespect because he did a great job. He really did. Robert, Robert Patterson. Ah, I think I think that's what it is. I think it's Robert Patterson. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm pretty sure it's Robert Patterson. Pretty sure it's Robert Patterson. Uh, pretty sure it's Robert Patterson. Uh, yeah, yeah, Robert Patterson. Padding, Paddington, Padding, Paddington, Paddington. Okay. Um. Yeah. Great. Great job. Great job. Uh, Zoe Kravitz was Selena Kyle, which is Catwoman. She did a great job. Uh, let's see who else. Let me see the rest of this cast. Jeffrey Wright as uh, uh, Gordon, young Gordon, phenomenal. Like, cause here's here's what I want. Robert Patterson is playing a younger Batman. He's playing Batman like within his second year of just being a vigilante and a crime fighter. This is good, cause I love how. They, they all they did in this Batman movie, they skipped the origin story and they just kind of just told us it throughout the movie. Parents died. You was an orphan. Like they did it during the movie. They executed that well. Because guess what? If I see Batman's or Spider-Man's origin story in me more, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. I'm gonna lose it. We don't need to see it no more. All right. Um, then we got uh, what is this? Paul Don Dano as uh, the Riddler. Great job. Whoa, Colin Farrell is Penguin. Yo, yo, that don't even bro. He just looked like Penguin in this movie. That's cr that is crazy. That's crazy. Uh, Barry Cohen is Officer Stanley. Um, Alfred is Andy Serkis. Alfred did a great job of being Alfred, but he didn't have a lot in the movie. Um, but I, I do like how it shows like their relationship kind of had like its flaws in the beginning and how um Bruce Wayne Bruce was able to like mature through through this um thing with the Riddler and um uh actually grow to appreciate Alfred. Um John Toretto was cat uh Toretto is Camille Falcone. He did a great job. Like, uh, let's see. Let's see, because I'm just trying to, I'm trying to pick people with, that had like really um, good screen time. Screen time that mattered. Um, 
Man, I need to know who was playing the Joker, though. Margaret Robbie was not in this movie. Neither was Matthew McConaughey. What's going on? Man, hey, Google be just doing, just be adding people to the movie. Uh, let me see. Let me see the cast. Yep. 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 Uh, uh, the DA was Peter Sarsgaard. Man, that DA, boy. He, hey, hey. That was a, that funeral? That funeral was a wild scene. Like, Drove, had him drive into, ram into there, hand Batman a card, and then, you know what I'm saying, play a game for his head to get cut off. And, well, it didn't get cut off. It got blown off. It, he blew him up. He blew his neck off. Um, let me see who, who else we got in here. Um, talking about cast. Um, let's see. All cast and crew, uh, cast. I don't want that. I don't. Damn, man. There we go. Nope, that said it's written by um, cast. Thank you. Uh, so Colin Farrell was the penguin. Paul Dano was that. Alfred. Unseen Arkham Prisoner. Oh, Barry Cogan. Barry, Co- Barry Cogan is going to be the Joker. Hey. Hey, that might work. It might work. You know what? I'm not. Hey, this this Batman trilogy. I'm going to say this right now. This Batman is just flat out better than uh than what you call it. Then what's his name? Uh, then the Dark Knight Rises is better than Dark Knight Rises. It's, it's better than the whole Dark Knight series. I'm sorry, like because this. Captured the true essence of Batman. Like him being a detective. Like him actually solving shit. He he ain't been solving nothing in Dark Knight. He was just fighting. Like, that's it. He would just fight. Fight, 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 fight. No, no real like detective work. He was just fighting. Like, yeah, he used his brain and smarts or whatever, but. He was just fighting. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Anybody else in here? That matters. Uh nah, we good. We good. Um Max Carver and Charlie Carver playing twins and actually being twins in real life. That was pretty cool. They, they were twin bouncers. Um, but anyway, let's let's I'm gonna get more to the like the aesthetic and ambiance of like. Because the score, like, really, and I love how they kept it dark the entire time. Like, it was just dark and gritty. Like, that movie is grimy. Like, man, and then the, the scene at the beginning when they're like, he's like, he's like, I I sent, I put fear in them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they see the bat symbol in the sky and they get scared. This dude finna run up and just beat them nearly to death. Which is just funny, man. Um, like I like I like how like realistic it was about Batman. Like he was like he was doing those fight scenes, you know what I'm saying? And normally when you see Batman do like a fight scene or whatever, it's super clean. He ain't he barely in touch unless it's somebody that can touch him. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, like this dude and then also this is younger Batman. He he getting like hit in the head and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But he just shrugging it off, you know what I'm saying, and fighting back, but it's different than you know what he was doing before. Um, and yeah, dude, too cold, dude, 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 cold. These fight scenes was great, man. The fight scene from the, the elevator hallway with the guns and like the flashing light that was clean. The cinematography, man, the cinematography was great. Um, like, oh, oh man, there was so much, there's so much to this movie that I liked. I, I don't have a complaint. Like, literally, no complaints. No complaints at all. Like, even when the movie, you thought the movie was done, and then it turned out the movie wasn't done? Bro, that blew me. 
that blew me. That blew me. But it was perfect for the Riddler because the Riddler always be having stuff extra set up. You know what I'm saying? Like the Riddler really be slick out out smart Batman, especially young Batman. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like he be outsmarting them. Um yeah, man, this this is good. This is good. Batman was only two years in. He just out there just scrapping. I liked I liked his I like the Batmobile because it's like the it was like his function it was like its functional design um because he's like he's just starting out it's uh let me think what else what else is going on on this like man it was really good it was a really good movie wow but anyway um yeah y'all let me know what y'all think because I got this above Dark Knight Rises. This is the best Batman movie ever. I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Yeah, People ain't going to like it. People are going to disagree with me. Um, But best Batman movie ever. Best. Best. Hands down. Well written as well. And stay true to the source material. I don't know what else you could ask for from a movie. So my rating at the end of the day, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Perfect score. Go watch the movie. Enjoy yourself. Like, man, the score, the freaking score. I wish I could play it without getting a DMCA. Like, boom, 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 boom. Like, Oh, that was so good. He just walks. He's just walking in. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Like, he just, it makes you feel like he's been on somebody ass. And if you're on the other end, it's like, oh, I fucked up, didn't I? I, I fucked up. Yeah, you did. Bink, 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 bink. Like, he was just being me. <laughs> I was like, why? <laughs> he was like overdoing it. Like the whole movie, he was overdoing it. As far as like being people. He was <clears throat> like, I was like, why is he so mad? <laughs> but anyway, hey, y'all let me know what y'all thought, think about this movie in the comment section down below. I'm out. <laughs>